What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing something very different. We are trying our first deck profile video. Uh, the setup is super awkward. I can't actually can't see what our phone is recording because it's facing down. The face cam is at a very awkward angle, um, and because I don't know, can't see how it's recording. All I know is that this is the middle. Cell under Celebi is in the middle, uh, but we're going to try it out. So I'm looking for some feedback. You know, what do you think of this series? Do you want to see more? And if you have any suggestions for the setup, just let me know. So let's get into the deck profile. We are going to be showing off a Rushi, Rushi Rom deck. And basically I kind of just put it together. Right now it's basically the engine and there's not too many counters to other decks right now. So let's just get right into it. We have three Rushi Roms. I think I, I would prefer to only run two uh, or rather you always need to have at least two. And we added a third just in the event one is prized. If two of them are prized, you might be in trouble. So one interesting, I feel like one difference, my deck versus a lot of other Reshi Roms is that I don't run any kind of, or no, I run a single acceleration card, which is Ends Resolve. And we only run one of just because um, we're running one just to try it, but I kind of want to take it out eventually. I don't feel like ramp is necessary because with uh, Reshi Ram, you're ramping up to two. So the let's say if you want to run welder and you have like three of them you know it'll be useful turn one and then that's it but the obvious target or partner for reshiram is naganadal so we have four poiple and four naganadal if you're not familiar with this card basically naganadal can use its ability charging up take any energy from your any basic energy from your discard pile and attach it to naganadal that works perfectly with fabled fire bolts Flare bolts, and which essentially discards uh, electric or fire energy from your bench, and for each energy you discard, does 90 damage. Uh, one thing about Ends Resolve is like it does give us the potential to use Cross Break GX, but honestly, I've never used it yet. And then we have a single Ditto, which is just another target to evolve. Uh, we do have a couple other things that do evolve, so Ditto is kind of like a multi-purpose target. So as far as how we get the engine setup. Let's say we have our Reshiram. Let's say we have a couple energies. Now we just need the energy on the bench. Uh, so how do we get Naganito? We only have two tutors up right now: Pokemon Communication and Mysterious Treasure. Um, I think we should kind of unify on one. I think I'm leaning towards Communication, and we'll get into the other targets in a little bit. And then we have some Ultra Space proxies, but for Ultra Space uh, makes it pretty easy to set this up. Four because you know you're probably going to be competing with things like giant hearth or worst case scenario you have to deal with the chaotic uh, the swell. Our energy package is seven fire energy and then six electric. So why seven and six? So there's no difference between electric and fire since we don't run anything like welder. There's no uh, tapu coco or anything like that. Seven, six, thirteen energies all together. Um, it, I feel like it's kind. It's definitely higher than is necessary to get the engine going. But if you whiff on the energies, uh, we don't have Viridian Forest or Giant Hearth. So if you whiff the energies for the Reshiram, you're kind of stuck at that point. And the whole, so the idea is get Reshiram set up and then keep it alive. So to keep it alive, our, we have one healer, which is Maalana. Worst case scenario, you can use it as a switch if necessary. Um, but this is pretty good. Uh, you do have to discard two cards, but we have basically, or majority of the rest of the deck is actually just card draw. We have two super scoop ups uh, to basically reset your Reshi Ram. Yes, you do have to put the energy back on it again. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, non, not exactly ideal. All right, now we're moving into draw package, which is for the most part, the rest of the deck. Three Lily proxies right now, two Cynthia proxies. And then let's see, we have two Cherish Ball which obviously it can tar target the Reshi Roms if necessary, uh, or if you just need some card draw, we have two Dedenes. I only run two. I don't think you want to play too many of them because you do need your bench slots for the Naganadals. And then, or potentially these, these other cards for card draw, we have two Type Null, which can evolve into Silvalli GX for that extra card draw with Disc Reload ability. I actually think this is pretty good. And that's kind of why we also have that Ditto Prism Star because you know it's not just Naganadal we'll be evolving into. And then we have a Naganadal GX, uh, which pairs perfectly with Ultra Space. If you can maintain Ultra Space, that's a lot of card draw 
that you can leverage every single turn. And here's one of my favorite cards in the deck. We're only running two of them. Uh, we have plenty. We have a bunch of ways to tutor it up, and that is red and blue. So at this point, we have four point bull and two type null. As long as you have one of those on the bench, this thing will basically set up your card draw engine. So two red and blue, and we are running a good amount of supporters at this point. We have five, six, seven. Uh, so we have two pokey gears, but almost. Oh no, and plus the Milana, and then for tag call so for tar targets for tag call we have reshiram malana and red and blue so in total that is only six targets we have four of these and uh i think that's okay by the time that tag call becomes less relevant uh you either already are set up for victory or not so i'm not too worried about running four tag calls even though there's only six targets and then for disruption for our opponent to set up ko's we have two great catchers uh you know with all the with the naganadal gx the sil valleys and then all the lilies and cynthia i don't think card like you know playing off the top of your deck is going to be a concern you should always have plenty of cards in your hand and then lastly we have a switch just a one of, um, you know, I'm not sure we need it, but every once in a while there's a situation where, oh, you know, you didn't have anything, you had to start Dedene or something, and we just need an efficient way to get get that back into the bench. So that's it for the Reshiram deck, and uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, you have any tips or any suggestions for improving this. So like, this is very much just the Reshiram engine again. Um, there's no real counters to many other decks, is set up Reshiram, start attacking, if you're in a bind, you can use Sil Valley to fight because we have plenty of supporters, but that's not ideal, especially when, you know, we don't even have DCE for that. So, um, you know, your main attacker will be Rashi Ram. So, yep. Yeah. Um, as always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below and give me some feedback on this series. You want to see more of this? And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.